Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where tonight is a very special episode as we're going back to the 1990s. Holy smokers, I've got a six pack of limited release Zima which was not only I guess along with Surge one of the official drinks of the 90s but uh, there was also a fad in the 90s about clear products and I tried some of them and other ones I never had. Now I missed out on Crystal Pepsi until it came back recently and I missed out on Zima. I never had it somehow. I did have the drink called Orbitz that had the little tapioca uh, bubbles that floated in the top of the bottle. I had that one time and there was even a clear deodorant. I think it was Gillette and it was a clear uh, something where you turn the bottom and the little things ooze up through the holes and the, I don't remember exactly but what was it about clear things in the 90s? Oh, you interrupted my disturbing behavior marathon. They're just getting right to the good part. Now I just got to zoom in on this very bland packaging that's the same all around. Here's the side panel, exactly the same. Here's a close up on the top of the bottles. Limited release. But I think they could have done a little bit more of this packaging. Here's a label. Freshing Citrus Beverage. I'll get one of these out of here. And it's got some ridges around the uh, center of the bottle here. It appears to be a, one of the standard type of caps you got to peel off. It says limited release. 5% alcohol by volume. And overall I would say the packaging is pretty disappointing. So direct from almost every prom night limo in the 90's to the Robert Dyer channel is the return of Zima. Now it's see if I can get this. I'm assuming this is a traditional cap or else all hell is going to break loose here. Well. I guess that worked out pretty well considering what could have happened. It's got a pretty... does have an alcoholic uh, aroma. Smells like... Uh, yeah, it's almost sort of a beer flavor. This is a... I think a malt beverage of some kind. It says refreshing citrus beverage so they've set the bar pretty high. Let's go ahead and pour it in. Had a little head like this and it immediately evaporated. Now it looks like Sprite as you would expect from the bottle. Again, it's a... kind of smells like Coors Light combined with uh, fruit and flowers. 
but the alcohol aroma, it's really more, it reminds me more like a malt liquor than a, like a Budweiser or something. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, it's definitely not a very strong flavor. It's pretty, it does have a good amount of carbonation in the cup, but it's kind of watery. Almost as watery as Coors Light, but not as much. alcohol aroma is stronger than the alcohol taste but at the same time it's uh, I mean it's a lot sweeter than a wine or a beer but I would say it is vaguely refreshing a little bit fruity, a little bit of a lemon lime type flavor. Bob, they say that Zima is what turned Jesse Spano into Nomi Malone. I'll buy that for a dollar. You know, one time I mixed Zima with Irish whiskey and the Lucky Charms Leprechaun turned into Conan O'Brien. Everybody get a sip of this drink and tweet out a link to this video with hashtag Tarnation Bob. That hits the spot. Hits the spot. a little bit of a lemon zest type of a flavor. I would say it's actually for what they're promising it's pretty good. It's uh, fairly refreshing, definitely a lot more refreshing than a beer or a wine would be on a hot day. Generally it's water and a hint of malt liquor and a good amount of lemon lime flavor so kind of a lot like you just poured some alcohol into Sprite but I'm not blown away by it. it's not the dream flavor I would imagine in my ultimate uh, sweet fruity drink so I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, four stars I think it's worth trying if you never had it before so on behalf of Mr. Belding I hope you like this video share it with your friends please subscribe and I'll see you next time bye everybody